Yo, what is up, guys? It is Power Bang bringing you guys another Clash of Clans video. We got some early Town Hall 9 action going on today. I'm hopping right into it. We've got live attacks going, fresh hits from the Town Hall 9s. And I wanted to kind of show you a lot of the strategies that are being used on these early fresh hits and like, what the heck are we looking for? So we have been. I don't want to call it horsing around, but we've had some early faux pas in this war from troll bases being set to mass minion fails on the first try. Let's focus on something a little bit different here. King Max Jr. going in with the suicide hero entry. That means heroes by themselves, maybe a supporting wizard or two, maybe a supporting wall breaker. Um, that's kind of the idea here. So his goal is to take out some of this supporting defense and ultimately get the queen taken care of. So far, not looking so hot. Another Tesla pops up, which is actually going to limit his ability to get in, take out that enemy queen, and she does not go down. So no other way to take care of that uh, with his air army. So he's got to hope for his pups now to take care of the queen. So Quad Lalo is the game here. Four Lava Hounds. You can see his early deployment. Those loons are all going to get hit. Uh, can the hound get away in time? Yes, it does. Holy cow. So good job avoiding the red bomb there with those balloons. He already has the cleanup started up at the top right, and now he's just got a whole bunch of uh, haste spells kind of led down. You can see the group on the bottom left is going to force the first group through the core, which is kind of where the, the value is in this base, and then another haste spell. So the backside is where the heal goes down. All of these balloons are going to heal up to full. Beautiful job uh, recovering so far, and he does have one balloon go off to get this uh, this wizard tower. That is going to prove to be really big, and check this out. The balloon does go down. Can it get a bomb drop off on the expo? It does, but now this is, uh, this is getting to be kind of uh, crazy. The queen is locked on to uh, the... Oh, it is lava pops. Pops! They saved the day, guys. So there it is. This is perfect. This is actually going to blow up the last lava hound as well. Archer Tower and Expo take care of it. And now we have a loon split. Now, it's not enough of a loon split to get this Expo taken care of. As you can see, he's going to get a bomb drop off on it. Maybe a second. There it is. But now the other group of balloons has to come back. But hey. Didn't go to plan, guys, but this is a very, very, very potent army. I believe this was our number one ranked attack as far as the Town Hall 9 game was concerned. In the earlier video I put out on the top three Town Hall 9 air attacks, the Quad Lalo. So he did not get the queen here, but he was able to recover with a good solid air plan and take out the base for the three stars. So, hey, not bad at all. Um, kind of a weird start. Hot and heavy on the attacks to start off. Six Schlitzes uh, going up against WHF in this. Uh, midweek war it's not a range so uh not not an even war but hey whatever we're just having some fun practicing up getting ready for cwl season three so six schlitzes with the early lead we're going to take a, a take a look at some other attacks as they come in so we're just kind of waiting for those to go down waiting for those to happen so king max getting the action started off early with the three stars so 14 stars um, seven attacks. Not an ideal star for us at all. Um, and again, we had a random like minion fail. Just not good so far, but it's okay. We'll, we'll overcome it. So one thing I want to talk about uh, while we kind of have a break in the action here, while we wait for another attack, is one thing I'm going to do on the channel, kind of a new thing. Uh, we do have one attack here, Andre68 taking on seven mile. I will show this one, because why not? He's bringing that mass minion, not mass minion, but 20 minions. Uh, it's, a, it's a good um, amount, you know, more so than you usual 12 balloons he's going to try to queen charge in here and as you can see uh he's going to go at the section with the wizard towers the goal here is to take out the splash damage so they can't hurt the minions and then ultimately uh take out the rest of his base so he's going to have uh two wizard towers on the far side as well the balloons are going to have to take care of that and then it's just going to be, uh, you know, trying to work work his way through the base, creating nice pathing. A lot of times in these island bases with the expos and the islands, that creates really, really nice pathing through the base, both for balloons as well as minions. Uh, keeps them from spreading, and when you can concentrate the firepower of 20 minions in the same spot, uh, that, that creates a lot of uh, buildings falling really, really fast. So one thing that I found kind of interesting with this strategy is... Notice his army composition in the spell categories. He's got a free spell, guys. So really curious to see how he uses the free spell here. Andre 68 doing a good job so far taking out the CC. Now he's going to engage the queen. Probably going to see an ability here. No, he's going to go with the rage spell instead. Takes out the first wizard tower, gets an archer tower. Now he's going to take the queen and then go for the second uh, wizard tower. Or not. Maybe just leave it. I don't know. Will, will he go back? I don't know. We'll see. This queen... 
you know, being cool per usual. So he just sends in some more wall breakers, uh, really to, to no avail. It's not going to do anything. Now, the queen here can choose to uh, go through the walls to get this sweeper, which I think will probably be the case. But eventually, she's got to work her way back to get that wizard tower at some point. So there she is going around the wall. That, that a girl finally does something useful. Now we've got the air attack coming in from the top. Here's the balloons going straight in. Um, ooh, look at that. Double Tesla farm, basically. Two Teslas supporting each expo here. That could prove difficult. And now he's got haste spells. He does have the freeze. He does have the rage spell. Let's see what he does with the minions. He's kind of creating uh, a really efficient cleanup behind his balloons, but ah, we'll see here. Last Hound uh, is up on the final air defense here, uh, but let's see what happens here with the remainder of these uh, these balloons. Here's the queen ability to get through the wall, and it looks like the Tesla and the Expo are threats still on top, and this kind of is kind of interesting. Hound finally pops. No more hounds are up, but it's all about the uh, the final couple balloons here, and it looks like the queen is not going to be denied here, guys. She is going to take down the Expo, and it looks like the uh, Wizard Tower is not going to survive to take out uh, the queen, obviously. So nice hit here for Andre68. He's going to pick up the three-star. Let's go ahead and bounce back over to the WHF side. Uh, Six Schlitz is coming out firing so far. So anyways, getting back to my point while I said we had some downtime before, one thing I'm going to start doing on the channel, guys, is recognizing one subscriber, maybe more, uh, but likely one subscriber of the day on the channel towards the end of every single video. So anybody new subscribing to the channel that day, look forward to that shout out at the end of the video. Just wanted to welcome you guys. Give it a more personal touch. Welcome you all to Banger Nation. Uh, really, really appreciate Appreciate all the support and love on the channel so far. So starting off, uh, we had a sub just before um, this video got, got rolling. Look at him right there, Samuel Wilson. Thanks, man, for uh, your sub to the channel. Really appreciate the support, man. Hopefully you like the content here. If you guys are just watching this channel for the first time, feel free to subscribe for more Clash of Clans. We also do some Brawl Stars, too, on uh, some off days. So feel free to subscribe, and, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll be rocking some mobile games together in the near future. That being said, let's get back to the action. We can check a replay of one that went down a little bit earlier. We had uh, our three-star and get kicked off with FBL, and we will go ahead and watch his strategy here. It looks like pretty much a basic uh, general uh, hobo strategy here with two golems instead of three here. More hogs in this army composition. He's brought a couple supporting Valkyries as well. So the supporting Valkyries, he's using to funnel and create like kind of some space here. Um, and again, Canadian native, thank you for the, uh, the sub to the channel, man. Welcome. So anybody that subscribes live while I'm recording, it will pop up during the video. So that's kind of cool. I thought that was a little bit of an interesting, you know, personal touch, if you will. Uh, so anybody subscribing to the channel, it will pop up up everybody will know so feel free to, to click that button and, and try to guess when i'm recording hey so queen working her way down the side cc kill was a little bit uh messy because all those troops went everywhere witches in there always seem to kind of do that but the wizards are uh making sure the king and the golem kind of go into the base you're gonna see the queen uh take out some key buildings in here and now we've got hog riders coming in from the bottom now the, the kill squad didn't get a ton of value however it did get enough value to provide the hogs enough leeway to get the rest of this base taken care of. Now, the hogs, three heal spells in, in uh, this this group. And it looks like instead of bringing bowlers in the kill squad, which is common, and that's probably why the kill squad didn't get as much value, he instead brings hogs as part of his CC, drops in those level 7 hogs from the bottom left, and they are supplementing this attack from this point forward. So the final heal spell should come down in this area here, and you're going to see those hogs kind of make their way through this last section. All he's got to do is get this uh, this Tesla taken down, and then he should be good to go. So all of these hogs coming out of this section at full health, but they do get clipped by a bomb, and then of course eat the uh, the spring trap there at the final Tesla. Luckily, three more hogs show up to uh, to save the day. But that's that. He's going to get the cleanup done. He has already got the the troops down uh, to go ahead and make that happen. So nice work to FBL. We do have another live attack going right now. Emiliano trying to redeem himself earlier from that uh, that hit with the minions. He's bringing minions again. 23 of them this time. Here we go. He's charging into the base, working into a sweeper with that uh, that queen. Rage spell down. That's going to help him get through much, much quicker. Now, Lava Hound comes over all of the, uh, the right side of this base. You can see how much value he's gotten here. 
with the queen as part of this charge. So this is really, really good. Enemy queen is down, and now he's pretty much covered the whole base for traps with these lava hounds, and he's sending in targeted balloons here to try to get to those air defenses. You can see the queen's taking care of the air defenses on the on the left. Balloons are responsible for the right, and you're going to see minions kind of backing everything up over here, and that is going to snowball right now. He's taking care of all of the uh, wizard towers. There is no more splash damage, so this base is already wrecked. Uh, there's one more air defense, and that simply is not going to take down 140 minions or however many he's got with him. So nice work to Emiliano there, taking everything out on this uh, this raid. We're going to see about maybe catching one more live raid. That is my hope anyways. I'm not conducting the action here. Uh, I wish I were. But if I can uh, snap my fingers when we get out of this raid and go check out um, one more live attack, that would be glorious. But Miliano getting it done, three-starring for the good guys. Nice work, dude. Uh, coming back and getting that three-star with the minions. So kind of clawing back into this one, guys. Again, very early. The goal for most Town Hall 9 defenses, as I may have mentioned before, uh, is to distract or to confuse your opponent enough to cause them to fail one time. If you can fa have them fail that fresh hit and basically have them commit another player to take out that base, even if they take it out the first time on the cleanup, you've done your job on defense if you make them attack you twice. Now what you're trying to prevent is that fresh hit three star where they can start using those extra attacks that they compile to scout the upper bases. So this is where you're going to see on defense some things like Tesla farms maybe on the outside of the base, maybe a troll Tesla in the corner, maybe some stacked traps at a, an area where you kind of know that they're going to enter the base uh you know it, it kind of remains to be seen and it, it all is you know really customizable by yourself uh when you're doing the defense so that is going to uh that is going to do it it looks like we are wrapping up the video here i don't want to uh sit and edit you know hours of, of footage together so I, I just was hoping to catch a live so we can watch one more guys if you uh if you want here we got three point layup who got hit by Emiliano we had uh who else got a three we had FBL uh do his thing we had King Max Jr we checked out all of those attacks so let's look at a fail here uh there was one of these I think it was 3PL's attack let's go look at this one and see what went wrong um, and again, this is one of the few fails that I've seen 3PL do. He's really, really consistent, and he's been bringing this uh, this stoned hobo attack, which is basically bowlers in the CC, three golems. And now he tries to go long ways all the way down the center of this base, dropping the double jump spell here. Um, normally, this is pretty good. He's got that external wall on the outside, causing the golem to walk around a little bit. Um, and then he's got the queen drop back there as well. So this is probably going to have some funneling issues. Maybe. I don't know. It kind of depends. Wall breaker's down. It is going to open up the wall. And now everything's kind of going deep in there um, to the second, the, the first jump spell there. And here comes the bowlers as well. So everything going in. And right there is the problem, guys. It looks like uh, as these bowlers are coming in, there they go. They're going to mostly walk around the side of the base. He really needed those to go to the inside. I had a feeling that wall on the end was just going to make for funneling problems. And it turns out that is the case. So if you have those external walls, just kind of keep note of that. Maybe alter your entry angle to come in from the side and then kind of like kind of sweep around the base. But, you know, overall, not too bad there. The bowlers do get a decent push uh, because the wizards went in with them. And then he just tries to kind of overwhelm the base uh, with the hog riders. Unfortunately, they stack directly on top of the giant so the giant that was designed to tank for those hogs actually provided no value because the wizard tower that was firing at it was also hitting all of the hog riders so the momentum dies there he uses a heal spell there on the uh the hogs instead of the kill squad because the kill squad did not go into the base and as they work their way into the last section here we got to hope that there's no giant bomb well there was so he kind of got a little bit unlucky on that last section um and then he gets to the final tesla here and and it's so close but so far so so it does look like the Hog Riders will finish up on the Mortar, but the final Tesla, just too much health, guys. Gets it down to about one-third health left, and it's able to protect the rest of the base right there. 3PL falling just a little bit short, backing out now, and uh, we will call it there. So some interesting takes on fresh hits for Town Hall 9s. Kind of showed you guys uh, the Quad Lalo today. You saw the Stone Hobo today. Both of those, the number one and the number two overall attacks at Town Hall 9. 
And then uh, we also saw one that I did not really mention, which was kind of light on the balloons and really heavy with the minion kill squad. And that was kind of designed to take out those bases with offset splash damage where the queen on a charge can take out all of the wizard towers in the base. So hopefully you guys liked the video. Uh, really appreciate you all tuning in to watch. And also, I got to throw up one more uh, subscriber from today, my man Steven Taylor. Thank you for that new sub, man. Welcome to Banger Nation. And also, not Steven Tyler, it's Steven Taylor. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked it, drop that sub. And uh, I will be back with more Clash of Clans videos in the very near future. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace out. Have a good one.